as you get more comfortable with working with lots of layers inside Photoshop, especially if you're a designer and you're ending up with you know very complex documents, you're going to want to learn how to organize your layers panel a little bit more and make it more compact. If you take a look over here in the layers panel I have now, you'll see I've got these four thumbnail layers, all named with the name of the flowers they are. And there's this layer here called logo. That turns out that's a group layer. If I turn down the disclosure triangle, the geeky term, you'll see that there's two layers in that logo group. You can just collapse and expand that to see the layers inside any given group. So how do you create a group in the first place? Kind of two different ways to do it. I actually am going to show you the textbook method and then show you the way that I prefer because it's just easier. I'm going to go ahead and shift click the layers that I want to group. Now, if you go down to the layers panel, at the bottom of it, there's a little group button. And the problem with this, if you click this, it doesn't put your selected layers inside the group that it created for you. It just puts the group at the top and then it deselected the layers that you had selected. So that, in my mind, kind of silly. So I'm going to undo that and I've got my layers selected again. Photoshop wants you to drag a range of selected layers to that group icon. Okay, so if I drag the selected layers all the way down to the bottom of the layers panel and look for the cursor to change as I mouse over that button, now when I let go, all four of those layers were moved into this new group called group one. I'm going to undo that. Nothing wrong with that. If you like dragging and dropping, that's fine. I just find, especially if you have a really tall monitor and a really large layers panel, I don't really want to have to drag and drop there if I don't need to. So I'm going to use the standard keyboard shortcut that works in just about every Adobe application to group something. That would be command G or control G on Windows. And that just skips the step of having to drag. It puts your selected layers inside that group and calls it group one. If you want to name the group, let's go ahead and double click on its name. I'll just call it thumbnails. Press enter or return to lock that in. And then if I want to see what's inside a group, I can just turn down its triangle there and I can see all four layers are still there. The stacking order is still maintained of what they were before I put them in the group. And then I can just collapse that to not see the thumbnails if I don't want to take up that much vertical screen real estate. So grouping and ungrouping, pretty similar. If I want to get rid of the, the thumbnails group, the opposite keyboard shortcut is Command Shift G or Control Shift G. It's also under the layer menu and I can choose the ungroup layers command. So for those of you who like menu commands, there's a command called group layers under the layer menu to get it in the group in the first place. And then there's also the corresponding ungroup layers command and the keyboard shortcut is Command Shift G or Control Shift G. So you can go in and out of a group at any point. It's really just an organizational technique. Well, it turns out there's some other benefits of grouping. You can actually mask an entire group by throwing a layer mask at the group level instead of the individual layer, which is kind of exciting, gives you an extra layer of masking, but that's a little bit off topic here. Again, to get this back to being a group, I've got my selected layers here. Command or Control G is the easiest way to do it. Let's go ahead and double click on the name, call it thumbnails. Hit return or enter to lock that group name in. And now I've got a much more organized layers panel.